Hi, this is Mr. Singh here. Today's lesson is going to be on redshift, which is part of the AQA uh, separate physics topic eight. Um, before we do that, quick retrieval. Uh, pause the video here and have a go at these five questions. Okay, so let's follow up. Place these in order of increase in size, galaxy, moon, star, solar system, universe. Increase in size, um, so that would be moon, um, star, solar system, galaxy, and universe. Number two, which object in our solar system has the greatest gravitational force? Well, that would be the largest object in our solar system, which happens to be the sun. Number three, how many stars are there in our solar system? Well, we have one, and we call it the sun. Number four, how fast does light travel? Well, that travels at 300 million metres per second. And number five, what do scientists believe is happening to the universe? It is expanding. So you can see the three objectives there. We're gonna try and cover. And the key words, redshift, universe, big bang, galaxy, observations, dark mass, and dark energy. So our solar system is made up of planets, dwarf planets, satellites, well, there's two things missing here. What do you think they are? Okay. Well, star, which we call the sun, and there are comets. <clears throat> Moving on. So you can see... Um, that's what our solar system is. You can see the sun in the middle, and you can see the planets orbiting the uh, sun. We do do not class, I mean, Pluto is an odd one. Um, I'll, it explains on the next slide. Um, dwarf planets, these are planet-like objects that orbit a star, but are too small, and Pluto is termed a dwarf planet. Now, a satellite is an object that orbits a planet, and there are two types here. There are natural, so our natural satellite is the moon, and then there are artificial satellites that man has made uh, and then placed in, in orbit. Uh, and these are such like weather satellites, spy satellites. Now then, orbits. Um, Planets and satellites are kept in orbit by gravity. The closer you are to a star or a planet, the stronger the gravity. Now then, the size of the orbit depends on the object's speed. That's crucial, that. Otherwise, the object would get pulled in. Gravity would just pull, it, pull the object in. The closer you are to the star, the planet, the faster the object must travel to remain in or orbit. If the velocity, if the speed slows down, then the orbit will shrink, uh, the object will come, move closer to the star or the planet. Remember, if an object is in a circular orbit, then it is said to be accelerating. Even though it's traveling at the same speed, it's accelerating because it is constantly changing direction. Um, there is a balance between the force providing the acceleration, that's towards the object orbiting, e.g. our sun, and the forward motion, which is called the instantaneous velocity. And it's that keeps the objects travelling in a circle, the instantaneous velocity. Um, how was the universe created? Well, we live on the outskirts of our galaxy called the Milky Way, and which uh, scientists believe is approximately 100,000 light years across. Um, so there, 
from there to there. A hundred thousand light years across. Um, if you're wondering how big a hundred thousand light years is, well, like I've said before, the speed of light is three hundred million meters every second. So you can imagine there are 60 seconds in a minute, there are 60 minutes in an hour, there are 24 hours in a day, and there are 365.25 days in a year. So if you do that, you can see what one light year is. Well, this is 100,000 light years across. If we move on. Um, think about this one. What happens to the material in an explosion? So when a bomb or anything explodes, where does all the material go? Goes up. So, thinking about that, how materials are all expelled out. But So, let's move on then. So from that then, um, there is something called the Big Bang Theory. So it's obviously a theory, because this happened, scientists believe, around about 13.65 billion years ago. Uh, what they think is the universe began by all the matter and energy was compressed into a tiny, tiny, very, very dense space, and it was very, very hot. That'll get you one mark. And then it exploded and started to expand, just like a bomb. And that'll get you the second mark. A typical question will be, what is a Big Bang Theory? And it'll be worth two marks. And then, obviously, that question will then further go on to, well, what's the evidence that supports us? Well, there are two key pieces. Something called the redshift, and the other one called the Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation, CMBR. So we're going to take a look at these. Now, before we take a look at the redshift, we need to understand something called the Doppler effect. Now, the Doppler effect is usually noticed when a vehicle with a siren, a fire engine, a police car, approaches and then it moves away from an, obser uh, from a, an observer. Now, if the fire engine passes us, we notice that the pitch of the siren to be getting higher. And then, as it moves away, the pitch of the siren um, tends to get lower, moving away from us. And you can see from this picture, the fire engine appro approaching this person you can see um, the wavelength is decreasing, but the frequency is increasing. Whereas the fire engine moving away from this person, you can see the, the wavelength is increasing and the, fre the frequency is decreasing. So as the object moves away, as the sound wave moves away, then the frequency increases. Now, as the object or the sound waves moves towards you, uh, the f wavelength decreases. So remember that. As it's moving away, the wavelength decreases. So from that Doppler effect, let's have a look at this then. So light from a star uh, can be analysed uh, and produce a spectrum. So light from a star does not contain all the wavelengths of the EM spectrum. Elements in the star absorb some of these emitted wavelengths. So dark lines are present when the spectrum is analysed. And you can see clearly see the dark lines there. Different elements produce different patterns of dark lines. And the diagram shows part of the, EM spe part of the emission spectrum of light from the sun. So this is light from our sun. Astronomers can observe light from distant galaxies. And when they do this, they see it is different to the light from the sun. The dark lines in the spectrum from distant galaxies show an increase in wavelength. So my question to you is, if the wavelength is increasing, what does that tell you about the distant galaxy? Okay. Remember the Doppler effect? When the siren moves away, the wavelength was increasing. Well, the dark lines of the spectrum of distant galaxies that show an increase in wavelength, which means the galaxy is moving away. 
the red the lines sorry the lines are moved or shifted toward the red end of the spectrum okay and this is called the red shift the diagram shows parts of the emission spectrum of light from a distant galaxy so if we can if we compare the two you can see the top one is light from the sun look where the dark lines are and you can see light from a distant galaxy and again look where the light uh, the dark lines are the dark lines are clearly shifted toward the red end of the end of the spectrum meaning the wavelength is increasing so astronomers see redshift as virtually all galaxies uh, sorry see redshift in virtually all galaxies it's a result of space between the earth and the galaxy expanding it's getting bigger the expansion stretches out the light waves during their journey to us, shifting them towards the red end of the spectrum. The more red shifted the light from a galaxy is, the faster the galaxy is moving away from us. So that's the first piece of evidence that supports the Big Bang Theory. Red shift suggests that the galaxies are moving away from us very quickly, and the further galaxies have greater red shift. What does this mean? Okay, well, I hope you've said this means that the universe is expanding. If the galaxies are moving away from us, and the further the galaxy, the faster it's moving away, the universe is expanding. The second piece of evidence is the CMBR. Astronomers have also discovered a cosmic microwave background radiation. Uh, this comes from all directions of space and has a temperature of about 270 degrees Celsius. And the CMBR is the remains of the... Thermal energy from the Big Bang spread thinly across the whole universe. The Big Bang theory, well, redshift supports this theory. Redshift indicates that the universe is expanding and moving away. And Edwin Hubble discovered that the light was shifted towards the red end of the spectrum. And that happened in 1929. Let's look at dark matter and dark energy. Well, this is what scientists believe the universe is mainly made up of. Dark matter, the name for unknown substance which holds galaxies together without giving out any electromagnetic radiation. And dark energy, thought to be the cause of the accelerated expansion of the universe. Here's some questions for you. The teacher moves the source of the wave across the ripple, ripple tank, and you can see the ripples in this tank, and you can see the direction of the movement of the waves. Okay. Clearly see the wavelength difference. So, two marks. In diagram two, the observed wavelength of the waves at X has something, and then... In diagram two, the frequency of the waves at X. So you can see there's X. So what's happened to the wavelength? And what's happened to the frequency for two marks? So the observed wavelength of the wave at X has increased, which means the frequency has decreased. Moving on for two marks, that was two marks. The teacher uses the waves in the ripple tank to model the changes in wavelength of light observed from distant galaxies. When the object, sorry, when observed from the Earth, there's an increase in wavelength of light from distant galaxies. State the name of this effect for one mark. And number two, what does the increase in wavelength tell us about the movement of most galaxies? Pause the video and have a go at these two. Well, the first one, the name, it's obviously red shift. And what does this tell us? The galaxies are moving away. And the further the galaxy, the faster it's moving away. Now this one is worth quite a few marks, possibly between four and six marks. Explain how this observation supports the Big Bang Theory. Okay. So pause the video and think about everything we've discussed in this uh, 
lesson. Okay, let's have a look at the answers. There you go, four marks. So the furthest galaxy shows the biggest red shift, meaning the furthest galaxies are moving, uh, are moving fastest, which means the universe is expanding and um, the universe started from an initial point. There's your four marks. State one other piece of evidence that supports the Big Bang Theory. Uh, that'll be worth one mark. So that, CMBR, Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation. And that ends our lesson today.